Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Covmax, model number TF1781. This is a USB rechargeable flashlight, powered by an 18650. I bought this flashlight on Amazon for a total of $16.99. I'm on a mission to find a good flashlight that's powered by an 18650 and is USB rechargeable. And hopefully the battery is replaceable too. So yeah, I figure something under 20 bucks. A lot of people are probably looking for the same things. And uh, I'm going to be the one to run out there for you guys and look around and see what's good. So I found this one because they have lanterns that I really like. I just reviewed one, a dual 18650 lantern. I'll put the review up here. Uh, check that out. It's an absolutely amazing lantern. Uh, definitely worth your consideration. Very low cost. Uh, just something to definitely check out. Uh, but I like their brand. I like the idea of inexpensive uh, utilitarian type items. So here we go. It's in the box. Covmax. It's a picture of the flashlight. Got some bullet points here. Well, let's see. Uh, USB rechargeable power bank. That's a cool feature. <laughs> I own a bunch of flashlights now and none of them have a power bank feature except for that lantern. Uh, let's see, it says uh, 500 lumens, five modes, a strong magnet. Well, it's not really strong. It's strong when it's, I'll show you. <laughs> uh, it's a zoomable design, so it does have a zoom feature. Uh, super duration time. Well, no, sort of. <laughs> uh, it depends on what your, your idea of super is. Uh, here's a little chart. It's pretty much all the information they give me, and I pretty much don't understand what this discharge time is. High, eight hours, low, four hours. You'd think that'd be the other way around. But uh, yeah, I kind of looked over all the stuff they gave and kind of made my own uh, approximations, and we'll go over those. So that's the box, same on the other side there. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we get. Take this stuff out of here. Rock on. All right, so box is empty. Pretty simple setup. Let's set it off to the side there. Okay, so there's the flashlight. We'll just set that aside for the moment. Hey, that was stuck to that. <laughs> uh, we get a micro USB charging cable how to charge the flashlight, of course, and to use as your power bank. So you could take this and plug it into a device and charge it with the flashlight, which I'm going to show you in this video. So I'll set that aside for that later. Um, here is the flashlight in bubble wrap. I'd like to see that. Let's go ahead and take this out. Yeah, this thing is a tank. This is not an everyday carry unless you like to carry monster-sized flashlights. <laughs> this is like a little mini club. <laughs> now, I am about mainstream practical, though they do call this a tactical flashlight because of this uh, top here. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to get hit with this. <laughs> Just the, the, the metal weight alone uh, is amazing. So for, for 17 bucks, it's pretty cool right there. So we'll go ahead and zoom this down. We'll go over some dimensions, do some size comparisons. Those are always fun. And then we'll talk about features. So bringing this down here, I'm gonna leave it like this here. Okay, so dimensions in length, we have six and a half inches. In diameter, uh, we have one and a half inches. So that's 165 millimeters by 38 millimeters. I don't have a weight for you, but it's pretty hefty. <laughs> Definitely over a few ounces for sure. Um, but there, there you go. Uh, so let's go size comparison. Um, I'm going to have to, I think, bring this back up because I want to do this traditional. So we're going to put this in the middle. The Covmax. I really like this light for the price. I mean, it, I'm already doing final thoughts, but I'm going to have links below. Check it out. I mean, it's definitely worth it. And that lantern, rock on. Okay. Um, so you've seen this one. I reviewed this. This is the Anchor Boulder LC90. This is very popular on Amazon. But uh, I'll be honest with you, it, it's 30 bucks versus $16.99, um, and it's kind of clunky. This zoomable head, um, well, now it's not doing it. Well, you can hear it. It rattles. So, I mean, that kind of bugs me a little bit. Um, the USB port um, for water tightness, I mean, this is a good feature, but then some people are like, okay, I got to unscrew it anyway. Why don't I just take the battery out and charge it? That makes perfect sense, but here's the charger on the inside. Um yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan. Uh, all these other flashlights uh, have th decent ratings, and their USB is right on the outside, and you can get to it. But this one here, it's the only one that has this type of setup, which I believe is nice, but in a nutshell, if you're going to be opening that up, you can just slide the battery out and throw in a dedicated charger. So there's that, and it's a zoomable head, you know, like I was showing you. Um, 
similar to this, this is a zoomable head. This one's a little different. You have to, it's more of a screw design versus a pull, push pull design. Next, I have another guy here. I'm just going on and on about these flashlights. <laughs> this is the Workos. This one's really cool. This is a uh, the FC11, and I'll also link up here. You can check the review out for this one. This is a USB Type C rechargeable, but it's pretty much charges at the lower rate of a normal USB micro, even though it has a USB. C connector there. They do give you the cable, but for size, it's got magnetic base, which is super strong. But you can see this is more an everyday carry size. But again, this is 30 bucks. Um, and this is 30 bucks. So you have to ask yourself, you know, do I need to have $30 flashlights or just want to spend 17 bucks like Todd did, get some honking thing that I can use for a club, <laughs> banging nails into the wood? I mean, it is. This thing's a tank. I love it. I do love it. I'm laughing because I like it. I really think it's awesome. Uh, let's see. I got more batteries here. I got some 18650s just to show you. Uh, protected cell, unprotected cell. Uh, to give you an idea, these both work in this flashlight, which is awesome. Okay. So we're going to talk about that here. Let's go ahead and set those aside. All right. So features. Let's talk about features of this flashlight. So the front, you can see it's got a, like a, a magnetic or magnetic, a lens for the uh lens uh, cover there. It's got a magnifying lens. That's what I was looking for. That's the word, magnifying. Come on, daughter Bert, magnify. Um, and you got that uh, tooth type, you know, I'm going to strike you down. You know, I guess you come up from above and down. But anyway, I'm more mainstream, guys. I'm not like your tactical fighter guy. Uh, if you guys want to talk about that, that's fine. But uh, let's just keep it, you know, on the down low. Uh, the reflector isn't really a reflector. It's kind of an opaque plastic. So it's kind of an inexpensive reflector. Now, again, this thing only cost me 17 bucks. I wasn't expecting much, but this thing, just the aluminum alone, I could probably recycle for a couple bucks. <laughs> I mean, it's that heavy. It's pretty awesome. Um, got some nice knurling finish there. Uh, the, the LED, that's right. I got to tell you about the LED. It's a Cree LED, actually, XPG2, which is pretty neat, rated at 500 lumens. So that's not a bad deal. I um, thought I'd mention that to you. Of course, the aircraft grade aluminum. Yeah, everybody does that. It's got a, a hard anodized finish. Well, there are some spots from the factory where, I don't know if it shows up on camera, where they must have chipped or something. So they put a little marker or paint and just, you know, fix their little marred surfaces with a little bit of paint. That's okay. I don't care. Again, inexpensive. I'm loving it. Um, you got the uh, clip here for your belt. Uh, and then, of course, uh, here... There's a collar, so we unscrew this, and this will show us our ports. So here we have the USB micro port. This is to charge the flashlight. And when you plug it in, this will flash green as it's charging, and then when it's charged, it'll be solid green. So this tail light does flash. And it turns blue when you're in power bank mode, and power bank mode is right here. So you see a standard USB port where you can plug in your uh, cable from your phone or from your radio which we're going to show charging a radio because I have a radio channel and I would use this to charge my radio in a pinch. So pretty simple setup there. And up here, this part unscrews and the whole back comes off. And then it reveals this like cradle. And this cradle here is holding a 2000 milliamp hour battery, 18650. And this is actually a, um, a, a flat top, but it's a protected cell, which I noticed. Um, I guess we kind of, Sliver there. I don't know where that came from. From the aluminum, I think. So, yeah, pretty cool setup there. Let me show you. Gotta put Iron Man in here for size comparison. I'll do that in a second. I think it's my color. <laughs> Helps my color there. So, you can put, I was gonna get to this, you can put your protected button tops. This will fit in there. Your optronic. You can increase the runtime as 3500 versus 2000. This is definitely 3500. It's one of the Panasonic cells from Japan. Totally awesome. Uh, you could also do a unprotected cell in there. The Panasonic, here's the 18650As. I think it's a 3100 a milliamp hour. There you go. This will work in here. Just don't try charging it. Um, I have a feeling you'll have trouble if you try to charge uh, this particular battery in this flashlight. So I would charge this in a dedicated charger then put it in here if you had to in a pinch. So let's go ahead and put this back together and we'll go to the garage and we'll look at some pictures of this light in action. So there you go. It's a five mode light. I think it's five mode. Yeah, five modes. It's, <laughs> it's got a high, a medium, low strobe SOS. So it doesn't remember last setting, I don't believe. Um, you just have to cycle through the mode. So it starts out on low. I'm gonna make sure that's locked down. There you go for water tightness. Um, and then you just the tail switch, pretty simple. 
Okay, it starts out on high first. That's right. So we got high, click, medium, click, low. So you got to go through the five modes. That's similar to the um, boulder. The bolt, this boulder does the same thing. We have to cycle through the five modes. Uh, again, $16.99. Not too worried. So let's go ahead and before we do a little demo here, we'll go to my garage and show you some pictures that I took with this zoom bowl head. Now, I have this set. I like it where it's zoomed pretty much out all the way. I don't like it zoomed in. It doesn't look very good. So zoomed out is the best way to run this flashlight. And I'll show you those pictures. Okay, first picture in the garage. I'm 15 feet away from the garage door. The light is on high. This is 500 lumens. They say when it's zoomed in, it's a 300 meter throw. I imagine with it being zoomed out here, we're losing a lot of throw. So we're probably like 75 meters, 65 meters the most, I'm guessing. But I like this nice broad beam. Um, this is how I'd use this light to light up the garage. It's kind of more of like a lantern mode. There's no hot spot. And this is about the right um, uh, round circumference versus where if you start to zoom it in, it starts to square off. The light starts to... Uh, or yeah, it starts to magnify the square image of the LED. So you start getting a square beam instead of a round beam. So yeah, it's a very inexpensive lens. Um, and this will run about two hours on that battery, approximately. They don't give that information, but on approximately, it's two hours. On uh, medium, this next picture, uh, it's 250 lumens. Uh, I'm gonna approximate the throw zoomed in about 150 millimeters, 150 meters, millimeters, yeah. <laughs> and I expect run times to run about four hours. Again, it's approximation. This next picture, it's on low. This is about 60 lumens approximately. And I would say this runs about 12 hours because that's what they advertise on this flashlight on their website. Uh, the strobe mode and SOS modes aren't pictured. Uh, they're 500 lumens each. So let's go back to the table. Ta -da! Okay, so just real quick, I forgot to mention, this is IP44 rated, so water resistant, not waterproof. Don't dunk this in puddles. Don't uh, take it in a strong rainstorm. I think a little rain will be okay. Uh, morning dew, like if you left it outside, a campsite should be okay. But just don't don't get it you know, soaking wet. Don't drop it in a puddle and leave it there. Uh, you may have issues. Uh, also, it is drop resistance to 1.5 meters. I don't know if I want to test that with this light. Eh, it's kind of iffy when you only spend so much. You don't expect it to be a tank to survive a hard fall. But it might. You know, just by using this light, I've noticed it seems pretty decent as far as strength goes. Um, so I think I covered most. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off, do a little quick demo. See what it looks like in the dark here. Yeah, I'm only got my little table, so I'm gonna turn this on. There we go. So I got this zoomed out here all the way. Sweet, I think this is on high, 500 lumens. Even up at the ceiling. Yeah, this tail stands nicely. Yeah, that magnetic base I was gonna tell you about. Oh wow, it's really lighting up the room nice. Okay, so the base works really good if you're overhead. So if you're hanging this like on the hood of the car as you're working with the light facing down, it's good. Uh, but if you're at a 90 degree, forget it. It'll just want to plop down. It's not enough magnetic uh, grip on the steel, no matter what kind of surface you use. It's just not enough to go 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and just tune this down. Go down to medium, down to low. Now we got our strobe mode. We got SOS mode. So yeah, it's a pretty basic setup. Go back to high. And like again, onto to the ceiling mode. So high, medium, low. Strobing, so you get an idea. Let's go down to low, there we go. You're hearing that clicking right in the microphone. <laughs> Cause I love you guys. <laughs> All right, let's turn these lights back on, do final thoughts. All right. Oh, actually, no, let's not do final thoughts. Let's have some more fun. It's more fun time. Oh, if I get this off, so yeah, you gotta do that. There's. I wish they would've had it so if you long press off, it would just turn it off. That would be amazing um, if they did something like that. I was going to show you was the uh, power bank feature. Yeah, and then we'll do final thoughts. So here's the cable they give us. I haven't really tested this um, with this cable. I just use my own. So let's unscrew that collar there. And let's hook up our power bank. So does that go like that? I'm doing this on camera. Okay, so we got our cable plugged in. All right, so that should turn blue. So I'm going to see if I can just put this all on the camera. Okay, Iron Man. I have a RadiWow R, whoops, I'm gonna knock this over. R108 AM FM shortwave longwave airband receiver. Very popular radio. A lot of you guys have one. I know it. Um, you guys love it. It's simple. It's got a BL5C battery. You know, those BL5C is about a thousand milliamp hour rated. 
This battery in here is 2000, so it should be able to charge a full charge on this, right? So you just take your little thing here and some micro USB, and then we'll plug it into the radio. Let's so get that in there. And there we go, this turned blue. Show its power bank mode, and the radio should show its charging. If you look there, little battery indicator is showing movement. Yay, it's working! <laughs> it's working! It's like Anakin from Phantom Menace. It's working! <laughs> so there you go, power bank feature in action. I mean, I think that's really neat. It's my first flashlight with a power bank feature, besides an emergency radio, of course. But this is a dedicated flashlight. Awesome. So there you go. Just unplug that, and this light will turn off in a little bit. So we'll just spin that down, and we'll do final thoughts on the CovMax TF1781. Don't know where they get those numbers, but there you go. Uh, for $16.99, is it a buy? Yeah, if you just want like a work light around the house um, or a campsite, and you're like one of those guys like, yeah, I don't mind a cheap light in case I lose it. I'm not worried about it because a light like this, <laughs> like the Warrior, Olight Warrior, you guys know what that is, I'm sure. You guys that really collect flashlights. It's like a $100 flashlight, $150 flashlight. I'd hate to lose that sucker. <laughs> it's probably, you know, I'm not sure. It's not this big, but it's pretty big. Um, yeah, you don't want to lose that beast. <laughs> So some people just want to say, hey, I don't mind taking this to the work site or the, you know, working on my car, or putting this in the garage and leaving it there, um, taking it to campsite. You know, if it gets a little wet, whatever, I'm not worried about it. Or if somebody runs off with it, I'm not worried about it. I get another one. So, I mean, that might be what you uh, would like to do. Uh, one other thing I didn't show you is the zoom feature. So if I zoom it all the way down, you can see it well in here. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm pretty close. But it does a square shape when it's zoomed in. So, but I like the nice open flood, which really is nice. This is kind of more like a lantern style mode, and that is the best way to run it. Let's go ahead and turn that off, cycle it. So there it is, the CovMax. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a big like. You guys are amazing. Uh, two, if you like this brand, uh, like I said, check out the lantern one. The lantern's amazing. This isn't so bad. I mean, I'm really enjoying this light uh, for what you get for the money. Definitely awesome. Love the fact that you can change the battery. That's key. Uh, it will run these batteries, you know, these high quality. So you can put these in there. Um, just like I said, don't charge the unprotected, but you can charge the protected just to be on the safe side. And uh, yeah, definitely, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep looking for inexpensive 18650 lights. They may or may not have rechargeable or replaceable rechargeable batteries, but they'll run on 18650 cells. And I'll look for the cheapest and most reliable I can find. And even the unreliable ones I'll feature just so you guys know what's good and what's not. Uh, so there you go. Uh, check out links below if you're interested. Uh, if you like the brand again, subscribe at the bell icon. And three, comment below what you think about this particular version. You know, would you be in the market for this big bad boy here still after I've showed you this one? It just, I don't know, it looks cooler. <laughs> I like this power bank feature. This doesn't have it. So yeah, definitely digging that. So, and it's half the price. So definitely tell me what you think, guys. Alrighty, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.